Let's make pho gà or chicken pho using an instant pot. My recipe is based on using an 8 quart instant pot. These are the vegetables and spices you'll need for the broth. One onion, one knob of ginger, about 4 inches long, one cinnamon stick, four star anise, one shallot, and one tablespoon of coriander seeds. You'll also need either a bag or a cheesecloth to hold your spices in. Soak your pho noodles in water for at least 30 minutes. Scrub your whole chicken with salt and then rinse it very well. For this recipe, I use a three pound chicken. My chicken had some excess fat and some skin, so I'm going to be removing this before we start cooking. Char your onion and ginger for a few minutes until they're toasty on the outside. This is going to give your broth a deeper, smoky aroma. If you don't have a gas stove, you can just do this in a pan. Next, you are going to roast all of the spices and the shallot in a pan for a couple minutes or until fragrant, and doing this will help release the flavors and aroma. Place the roasted spices and shallot in your bag and seal tightly. Remove the charred skin from the onion and ginger. Add your washed chicken into the Instant Pot along with the onion, ginger, and spices. Fill water to the max line, which was about 4.5 quarts. Add 1 tablespoon of rock sugar. If you don't have rock sugar, you can use regular sugar. Add 1 tablespoon of chicken bouillon. 1 tablespoon of fish sauce and then close and turn the knob to the seating position. You're going to pressure cook this for 30 minutes. While that's cooking, you can start to prepare your garnishes. Chop green onions, chop some cilantro, and thinly slice some white onions. And then add them all in a bowl together and give it a good mix. You'll also need to slice some lemon wedges and jalapenos if you want a spicy kick. Once the 30 minutes is up, carefully turn the knob to venting to release pressure. Remove and discard the onion, ginger, and spices. Then remove the chicken and let it cool down. Skim your broth and also skim out the top layer of fat. Lastly, season to your taste. I added one and a half teaspoon of chicken bouillon and two teaspoon of salt. And your pho broth is all done. Look at that liquid gold. Now let's prepare your bowl. Add your cooked pho noodles and shred your chicken. Be generous. And then pour over some hot broth. Make sure it's piping hot. Then garnish with your onions and cilantro. Add some freshly cracked pepper. Serve with lemon, bean sprouts, jalapenos, fresh herbs, some sriracha and hoisin sauce. Bon appetit!